Castro, I'd better call you Theodore. Yes, Miss Canfield. Theodore, I have a note here to your mother and father. <laughs> You're it now, babe. You'll be sure to give it to them, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> Get some good fresh turtle well, dirt on it, man. You put that in one of your pockets. All done. Uh -huh. Get full of dirt for my turtle. Yeah, I love this TV. This is the show you gotta turn on, like, you know, what did she do to, you, to watch shows you from the late 40s, early 50s. I, I just can't wait to see the day the Earth stood still on this sure, thing. It's gonna be great. You must have done something really awful. I remember it. How about the time you hid in the locker during fire drill? <laughs> The picture's got a little bit of noise in it. Uh, I wasn't getting that when I was using the dipole antenna over there to get the uh, to get the signal. Now I'm using a direct connection from the VCR. And frankly, I kind of lost confidence. A lot of these VCRs are old. They don't. I don't know if the output's very good. I just don't know what's going on. I think it might have been. I might have smoked one or two by accident. I probably should just no. get nothing but blonder tongue quality modulators and use those for everything. Oh, it just stinks that you got no good NTSC signals over the air anymore. That really, really you. aggravates me. Anyway. I could do a lot worse than Ward Cleaver. Oh, I think I remember that's a quote from... Uh, I think his name was Ken Osmond, the, the, the man who played, uh, the, or the, the kid who played Eddie Haskell back in the day. I think he was giving an interview somewhere and he's quoted like, a guy could do a lot worse. Than, this is great. He tells jokes in class. Listen. Funny jokes? No. That's great. What a line. Can excuse too? This is an interesting time because you can see Tony Dow. Okay, Mom. Don't he's only a little okay. bit bigger than Beaver, although I mean, he grew up a lot quicker. I look at the size there between Tony and uh, the Beaver. Yeah. Wally, Wally's clearly bigger than Beaver, but. That doesn't seem to be as much older as that. That difference really exaggerated in hey, the upcoming well, seasons. Well, what happened to you in school today? Well, they remember to take their bath. I'll tell you what, I kind of... I think the parenting from my parents' generation must have been be watching this for cues. There's so much that's so familiar. Did I see when I watched the beaver? Well, not a bad time to be coming up, really, you know? Hey, a kid could do a lot worse too. Anyway, it's a lot of in there. looking good. You gotta get that resistor uh, permanently it. fixed. And be able to really enjoy this. I'll probably fabricate some kind of back for it. I don't know yeah. what it originally came with. I'm assuming some kind of metal grill yeah, would be nice. It'd be easy because it doesn't. There's no uh, need for an extension on the back for the CRT. It fits, it fits flush back in there. I'm not going to do anything to the finish. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's original. There's something to be said about that. What is it now? So we'll just leave her be. I'm going to go dig up my uh, DVD. I There's a couple. So. I got some, I got some, uh, one of those collector well, sets. That's a bunch of old school days, stuff. Carnival of Souls <laughs> sticks out at me as the one I'd like well, to watch again. a couple of kids last year. Uh, boatload of uh, old really horror bad. flicks. Not the kind of garbage you put out nowadays. Stuff that you could watch without getting like friggin' nightmares over it. It was just, you know, kind of silly horror flicks, really B movies. Black and white. You know, stuff that didn't gross you out like some of the modern junk does. <laughs> You know, these little kids really had their dialogue yeah. down. That was my fault. Mam and Dell pushed me, and I bumped into Mr. Thompson's cocoa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many takes it took, but. Good little actor there. If you 
you want to be me, mustn't she have a reason? This might be the first episode. And you're an older person, you Got all the DVDs, so I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't start on the first episode. That hey, would make yeah, sense. Sorry, what, Wally? You'll be the first anyway. kid to ever be thrown out of the second grade in the history of the school. <laughs> Eddie Haskell is a real, uh, real rascal. Of course not. He's That'd great. Be a lot of kids patterned their behavior after Eddie Haskell. 